That's where you want to be. You're going to look to sack yourself from every single role in the business. And if that isn't for you, then business shouldn't be for you. You should be an employee. Three types of entrepreneurs, gang. How many? Three, thank you. Um, I come up with this entrepreneur's pyramid. This is the thing that I think that most people fall into. 18, 15, and 5%. 80% of entrepreneurs are what I call sheep. What do sheep do, gang? I'll tell you what sheep do. They get up, do the same thing day in, day out. They go and eat grass, they poop the grass. A couple of times a year, someone gives them a haircut. They do the same day in, day out. That is most business owners doing repeatable tasks. They're doing the same tasks on repeat, on repeat. The next 15% I call the oxes. What are the oxes? Well, these people, you'll know some of these people. They work really bloody hard, I'll tell you this. They're doing 80 hours a week, aren't they, John? That's what they're doing. They're doing this 80 hours a week stuff. They, in effect, are like managing directors of their business. So, they're, you know, they're, they're above these guys, but they're working really hard. They're oxes. They're the hardest workers you'll ever meet. Now, after a period of time, they've paid off their mortgage, they've got a nice house, they've got a nice car, but my God, have they worked for it. They are like the managing directors of a business. And the top 5% are the eagles. By the way, these guys are also control freaks. That's what they are, superheroes of their business. Something's wrong? They're there to save the day. Yeah, some of you are relating with these people, aren't you? I can see it in your faces. The control thick, the superhero of the business. These guys are fantastic pound turners. Very good at turning money. Money coming in, but also money goes out. These guys, the eagles, they think like investors. Big, crucial difference. They don't think like managing directors. They're looking they're like talent spotters. You're very talented, come on, work for me. There you go, there's your job. But I haven't got the money to find them, to pay them. Don't worry, I'll work it out. I'll get the money from somewhere. That's just how they think. These guys are master marketeers. They're very good at getting customers, making deals happen, getting stuff over the line. They also are very good at saying no. Sometimes these guys say yes to everything. These guys say no often. They absolutely know that another bus will come along with a better opportunity if they just wait. And that's what investors do so well. These guys over here represent technicians in a company. The next level that we're going to represent over here are the management team in a company. Then the last one is going to be the CEO of a company. So this would be your director of HR, the director of sales, marketing, operations. And then above the line up here, we're going to have the shareholders. Everyone listening, gang? Have I got all your attention? Good. Shareholders, yeah. Forgot how to spell them. That really was weird. Um, and uh, CEOs. And then down here, we've got the technicians that work for all these departments. I'm just going to draw something. This is, you know, because everyone understand this is the way a basic organisation works. Where it's the army, you've got the generals, you've got the captains, you've got the, um, the, the sergeants somewhere here, and then you've got the soldiers. You know, the, let's talk about the church. We've got the pope, we've got the cardinals, we've got the archbishops. You know how this works. Police, everyone, and this works in this situation. And then the shareholders, the parishioners, or the, the people, if it's the government. Yeah, so... And I'm just going to draw over this a very simple pyramid. And what you tend to find is 15% get to CEO, MD status, 80% work down here, 5% less than 5% we get to be owners. So my whole aim for entrepreneurs and business owners is to rise up through the pyramid, not operate down here. So this would, you know, think about this, Charlie Mullins. You know Charlie Mullins, Pimlico Plumbers? Looks like Rod Stewart. Starts out, he's a plumber. He's down here, isn't he? Swapping time for money, he's a sheep. Does a boiler, puts in a new boiler. Next stage is being a managing director of plumbers. Puts in all the plumbers. Next stage is being a chairman. He still owns a business 100%, but he's put in a CEO, an MD, so he no longer has to do anything day to day in the business. What does he now do? He focuses on growing the business, not operating the business. That's the entrepreneur's pyramid, gang. So 80% are doing the same stuff day in, day out. 15% become the managing director, CEO type part of a business and 5% can say, yeah, I'm a chairman. I turn up once a month to management meetings. That's where you want to be. 
You're going to look to sack yourself from every single role in the business. And if that isn't for you, then business shouldn't be for you. You should be an employee. If you're not prepared to employ and put a team in place, then it's just not the right thing to do. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it to help grow your business. Don't forget you can watch more of my videos by clicking here. And don't forget to hit subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking this button right here. It gets better than that because you can come and see me at one of my seminars to help grow your business. All the details of how you can get to one of those for free is in the video description.